peace, love, and light, Aries, Taurus, Cusp Collective. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cusp of Roses Tarot for your Taurus season birthday love reading. I hope you enjoyed your birthday season. Um, thank you all so much for all of your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscriptions. For those that are new, thank you for being here. Welcome to the family. I'm so happy to have you. I'm so grateful that you resonate with my videos, with my readings, or with my energy. Um, if you're new to being a cusper, go ahead and check the description box below, okay? I got some details all the way at the bottom um, about this particular cusp the cusp of power Aries Taurus um, just to keep yourself in the loop on what planets are involved what are the characteristics what are the attributes um, you know how does that show up and what is the best way to balance and maintain this beautiful dynamic energy um, so check that out, okay? Also, if you're ever interested in contacting me for a personal reading or if you have questions or just want to talk about what resonates, my contact information and the steps to um, the process for requesting a reading is all in the description box as well, okay? You can check me out on social media. I am trying to get better at being more consistent there, so go ahead and follow me. I am on Instagram and Twitter. Um, Instagram is Cusp of Roses to Row. Twitter is Cusp of Roses. Okay, so I'm going to be trying to do updates on for the channel um, because I'm still waiting to get access to the discussion board or the community board here on YouTube. So as soon as we get that, um, all that anything I post there on social media will also be posted here on YouTube. Um, but yeah, go ahead and follow me if you'd like. Um, that'd be great. Make sure um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the bell so that you are notified when I drop a new video and upload a new video for you guys um, just to keep you in the loop. Make sure you check out the playlist section, okay? Um, if you are looking for a particular cusp reading for a particular season um, or just want to look at all of the readings for a season or for a cusp go ahead and check the playlist section again i have playlists for every cusp individually then i have a playlist for every season that i've done so far um, and then I also have playlists for my moon chakra energy readings. Um, and then I've also curated some meditation playlists, whether that be guided meditation, sleep meditation, just regular meditation music, Reiki healing music, um, chakra healing music. That's all there. Okay. Those are all tools that I have used personally, healing mantras that I've used personally in my own spiritual journey that I feel would help the collective. So go ahead and check out, see what resonates there with you. Um, for meditations, for those that do not know, when you're first starting out, um, you know, 20 minutes is more than enough time just to kind of get your body used to the frequencies. Then you can kind of increase it up to the full hour, the full three hours, or however long you want to use it, okay? I do not recommend jumping into one of the larger ones right away if you're not used to absorbing that type of frequency energy, okay? So just take a little bit at a time, day by day, and gradually increase, okay? Um, but yeah, that's all there for you. Those are tools that I've used that I hope will help you on your journey, okay? For those that are new, I do start off every reading with a quick prayer. This is an opportunity for you to ground your energy, for me to ground my energy, for us to be grounded together, okay? Um, in order for me to receive the messages clearly um, and purely to bring forth to you so that you hear them correctly um, based on your situation and what you need to know, okay? Keep in mind, you know yourself better than any tarot reader, okay? Know your situation, use your intuition. Tarot is a tool for you to sharpen your own intuition, okay? So I am picking up on the energies that I can sense, that I can feel, that the spirit will let me see, okay? Ultimately, it is up to you and your guides and your angels and your ancestors, right? You and the divine to have that type of relationship and communication to get those extra confirmations on your specific situation. These are general reading so this is picking up on larger mass energy overreaching energy okay so not too detailed or specific if i do get something super specific i will definitely let you know okay but please just keep that in mind love energy covers a gambit of um 
categories and areas of our life, right? So we can do platonic love, like friends and family, romantic love, of course, okay? Also, it could be just abundance love, right? Like finance and career. So take whatever resonates in this reading, okay? And apply it to any of those categories that you see fit. Um, yeah, take what resonates, leave what doesn't for everybody else, okay? It is okay. Make sure as well, because um, this is very, very common with my readings, okay, that it may not resonate with you in the moment that it drops, right? The moment that you see it. But you may want to come back a couple weeks later, even a couple days later, a whole month later, and re-watch just to see if you get something new out of it or if something's changed. A lot of the time something has and it resonates just like that. Um, so just keep that in mind. Again, that's where the playlist section of my channel is going to come in handy for you guys, okay? So check that out out um thank you to everybody who's requested a reading from me i'm so grateful that you guys are resonating with them um, and enjoying them um thank you to all the donations they've truly truly helped we got this cool new sign here and some fresh candles right now i am lighting um fire and earth energy here okay we got a little aries fire and a little earth with the taurus so the fire scent is charcoal vetiver Mm, very fancy smells amazing and then the earth is actually pineapple mint which really surprised me but smells amazing as well so just trying to get your essence trying to get your vibe going here Eritors. okay we're gonna do the prayer i'm gonna talk about the energies that i'm feeling and then we'll jump into our reading we are going to continue with the spreads um that i've done for the last couple seasons now so i'm going to pull an energy for the aries vibration i'm going to pull an energy card for the taurus vibration and i'm going to pull an energy for the balance in between okay so you can resonate with all three just one two of them it's up to you okay again make sure that you're connecting in with your higher self you're asking your guides this is an opportunity for you to get a deeper alignment and deeper deeply in tune with your higher self and your own intuition okay um so if you have any prayers meditations affirmations mantras that you like to do say s practice do you say speak or practice <laughs> go ahead and do so now as i pray okay Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Holy Spirit, Ascended Masters of Light, my own Divine Ancestral Council, and all Archangels, thank you so much for being here with me and with the Aries Taurus Cusp Collective for this particular reading. We thank you so much for connecting us in this moment in time, and we thank you for covering us in your love, light, and mercy, and lifting us up in courage every day to face any twists and turns, anything that may come our way with joy, with love, with peace, with gratitude in our minds and our bodies and our hearts and our souls and our spirit. We're so grateful, ancestors, that you walk with us, and I'm so grateful that you've allowed me to be a clear channel to bring forth the most important messages of love, healing, truth, and light for the overall growth, personal development, ascension, prosperity for the Aries Taurus Cusp Collective for Taurus season. We thank you so much for these messages coming in clearly and accurately for the Aries Taurus Cuspers or Cross Watchers that need it the most. We are so grateful that you walk with us ancestors again that you give us synchronicities that you show us the way in this lifetime and beyond we love you so much and so it is all righty y'all all righty so air tours been in your energy for a little bit like i said i hope you had a wonderful birthday season i hope this video is finding you all safe um with everything again continuing to go on y'all okay for those that are living in the states i know i know everybody's itching to kind of get back into the swing of things but you know it's just too soon y'all so if your state is saying go ahead be free be open please stay home please stay home okay please just wait it out all right wait until we, there's an actual plan in place okay it, just take it one day at a time, y'all, all right? If you are dealing with the loss of a loved one due to this pandemic or just any reasons, because we also got to remember, guys, that, you know, just because this pandemic is happening doesn't mean that people aren't dying from other causes and other situations, right? So you are not alone in that morning, okay? I, too, have lost a loved one to this pandemic. Um, it's very tragic, you know, 
very sad that so many people are being left to kind of pass and transition by themselves, right? Um, even if it isn't due to COVID, there's still so many safety precautions um, that people are having to be left alone. Um, and it's heartbreaking, but we are in this together, okay? We got this. We're going to make it through. I'm sending you so much love, praying for you and your family. My condolences for your loss. Um, all right, we're just, we're just going to take it a day at a time, y'all. Just a day at a time, all right? Do your very best to continue to love yourself. Continue to keep um, yourself positive, all right? Keep a happy, not even a happy, but just try to keep searching for the sunshine, okay? Keep looking for the sunshine. Keep looking for the optimism. Keep looking for the silver linings and everything. It's something that can definitely help um, keep your vibration going, all right? Okay, Air Taurus. So as I was in your energy, I was feeling a lot of heart chakra work happening and a lot of throat chakra work happening. Um, and the heart chakra, it felt very centered on romantic relationships. Um, with Taurus energy coming in, grounding us, keeping us very earthy, right? Helping us build momentum um, to really truly uh, set sturdy foundations. It's... Um, an energy for you, Eritores, that's, of course, you know, very natural, very comfortable. Um, but there's this very sultry, kind of summery vibration happening around you that I don't even know, I don't even honestly think is in your vicinity. It feels very much just in your vortex of energy. Um, for those that don't know what a vortex is, it's just kind of like the... Um, the energy around you that you manifest, right, that you generate when you're um, dreaming, when you're thinking of things, those types of energetic thoughts, that energy, that uh, frequency, that current electricity, right, is what builds your vortex, okay, which what puts the call out to the universe to say, hey, this person is open and ready for this frequency, um, for this level of light, right? So it felt very much so like there is this kind of like simmery, kind of sultry, kind of like, mm, like very attractive energy in your vortex, but it feels intangible. Almost like you sense it, you feel it, but it, you can't put your fingers on it. You can't touch it. Um, and that's, you know, part for course, we're all kind of in this quarantine with the stay in home order. So this could be somebody that's far away from you or just not in your immediate um, vicinity, okay? So definitely make sure that you're doing some throat chakra work, some heart chakra work to just kind of feel out what this vibration is. We'll see where it's landing and what we got going on, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit. Please let me know, where's the Aries energy here? Where's the fire dynamic? Is forgiving and learning, okay? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments, okay? Yeah, so this um, energy could be the energy or vibration of a past lover. Um, this could just be coming up for some healing, okay? That vibration. Um, but as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So, Air Tours, there's definitely something lodged deep into your soul. They're even just telling me solar plexus. Wow. Okay. I'm getting a lot of that solar plexus energy here. Okay. So there's something lodged deep in your solar plexus that you need to touch base with, that you need to forgive, you need to learn from. This might be something that you might have been avoiding some pain from the past that's stopping you from experiencing love in your present moment fully that's definitely okay there's there okay so there's definitely something blocking you from absorbing or allowing that fiery simmery you know just kind of like uh, sensual energy that's kind of in your vortex from coming in okay so there's some lesson that need, that you're either learning currently or that you need to learn or some forgiving that you need to do, whether that is forgiving yourself or that's forgiving someone else. Um, but it's blocking you from allowing this newness to come in, allowing this because it, it definitely feels new. It feels like there, it's not something that you've ever really put your hands on. I don't know why they keep telling me hands. There's something you haven't touched yet. 
hasn't been touched by you yet okay so that's gonna mean something for some of you guys out there okay and it's mainly because there's still this level or degree of forgiving and learning um, from past life cycles or forgiving and learning karmic lessons right um, from soul teachers soul mates soul partners um, or karmic partners however you want to you know labels really don't matter here but it's just um, someone who or people or opportunities or situations that were put in your life um, to teach you something to help you learn to help you grow to give you an opportunity to flex those forgiveness muscles okay so as you continue to do that work you'll be able to see and feel and experience because experience is a key word there see feel and experience love in your present moments meaning that again that's that love that i was feeling in your vortex but you're not able to touch it or it's not able to penetrate you because you're still dealing with some deep deep solar plexus work okay so yeah um definitely want to check in with your solar plexus okay for the Taurus season where's the Taurus earth energy wow right away honeymoon Ooh. enjoy the bliss of holiday time together interesting okay so in this vibration i'm feeling like there's oh okay yeah so for some of you right this forgiving and learning you're in this process so this feels very isolated right this feels like you know, you're not intentionally trying to connect with anyone in the time being. Not that you aren't connected to anybody, because I felt that in your vortex, but you're not intentionally setting the groundwork or reaching out or trying to connect with anyone because you're still trying to forgive and learn through some lessons here. Your Taurian energy, though, is enjoying the bliss of holiday time together. So, okay, there you go. It's that sensing. It's that... that Whatever I was sensing in your vortex, okay, whatever that good, gooey, it just feels really like warm, almost like the middle of a cookie, like a freshly baked cookie. You know how it's just like kind of crispy on the outside and then you get the nice little gooey center and it's like soft. That's it's like that gooey center's trying to get to you, but you're still kind of the <laughs> the hard and crispy layer right it's trying to make you gooey but you're like still stone cold on it because you're still having to forgive and learn some things okay but it's like a part of you wants to feel it so the as Taurus season keeps going I think as Taurus season keeps going this Aries energy within you continues to forgive continues to learn continues to release continues to let go and the more you do the more bliss you feel the sweeter things get around you okay not even necessarily that major changes happen in your 3d but you're better able to enjoy them things feel lighter there we go all right and what's the balance between these two dynamics for aries taurus thank you so much yep let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally all righty there it is. There it is. Oh, I totally even forgot. And not that it's even relevant to this reading, but I wanted to share. I got some new decks. I'm so excited. So I'm using my new decks um, soon. Okay. I'm still studying them, still learning them. Um, I'm using them during my pre-shuffles before the videos to kind of just train them into my energy. But they are gorgeous. So, um... I can't wait to premiere them. Hopefully, I'll get to use them maybe on the next video for you or one of them. But keep the lookout for that, okay? Um, so I'm super excited. I just had to share. I'm super pumped. But we're going to stick with the good old golden universal tarot for some clarifiers, okay? So yeah, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, some of you are like fully blown aware that, yes, I'm in this cycle of forgiving and learning. I know that there is a honeymoon a honeymoon coming for me, whether that's like a honeymoon phase in my life, whether I'm single or with someone. I know that there's good, sweet things coming to me. But it's almost like some of you are wanting to control this process of forgiving and learning, which is actually keeping you from the honeymoon energy, okay? Others of you feel a little bit out of control with this forgiving and learning and losing sight of the fact that there is this honeymoon energy coming in for you, okay? So there's two sides to this coin, Eritors, all right? Um, 
So mainly for those in the balance, for those feeling both of these energies, right? It's letting go of control issues. It's allowing yourself to feel it in order to heal it, okay? And that's going to take some time. Now, it doesn't always, right? Some people can feel it 24 hours and they're good. Some people it takes 48. Others it takes 72. Some people it takes a whole week, a whole couple months, right? A whole year. Feel it. Feel it, feel it, feel it. All right, in order to heal it, in order to let it go, in order to release, in order to learn from it. Because you can't really learn if you don't know, right? You can't grow if you don't know. You can't tune in if you're not <laughs> aware of what you're tuning into. So you're doing it, definitely doing it, but just be patient with the process, okay? It may take a little bit longer than you may be hoping for. And that may be where this control energy um, comes in, okay? So keep that in mind but this honeymoon i do love it means that wow sweetness is coming into you regardless okay it's it's there it's like i said i was feeling it in your vortex um but it's not tangible to you just yet all right let's look into this for giving and learning thank you so much spirit Ooh, this is 21 minutes see i'm trying to keep my videos under 40 we're gonna have to move this along I stayed. I talked a little bit too much. <laughs> All right. One more shuffle. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. What do we need to know about forgiving and learning for Aries Taurus, for Taurus season? Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Whoa. Right away. Six of Wands. Okay. So, yep. There you go. Six of Wands talks about victory, public recognition. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your presence moment. So yeah, this is saying that you're going to be victorious in this process of forgiving and learning, okay? You just got to trust it. You just have to trust it. You'll be victorious and people are going to notice the difference. I think you're going to go through a very strong energy um, transfer and energy upgrade to where your presence like the vibration of your presence is going to upgrade or going to change and shift in a way where people are going to be like, there's something different about you, right? Because, um, you know, people can pick up on that heaviness. People can pick up on those things that are wedged deep into our, you know, chakras that need healing, that are stopping them from turning and spinning and being healthy and bright, right? So as you go through that, you're going to experience victory, okay? What else? Does Aries Taurus need to know about forgiving and learning for Taurus season? Thank you. What else do they need to know, Spirit, about forgiving and learning? Thank you. Yeah, magician. Magician energy, absolutely. So you have the power, you have the strength, you have all the tools you need to manifest this victory over releasing and healing the past. So for some of my errors, there's this there's this sense of doubt or this sense of like, will I ever get over the past? Am I ever going to be free? Is this going to haunt me forever? It's that feeling. But I think what you're stepping into is this sense of you got the power, right? Like understanding and taking back and reclaiming your power. That's also um, what the magician stands for for me. It's also mercury energy. Um, but essentially, you're stepping into this sense of I have the power to bring in this victory for myself, to bring in that recognition of, OK, I've healed this or, you know, I've made peace with this. All right. Because it's really about just peace. OK, healing can ebb and flow. Really, what you're trying to get to is this sense of peace. But you're manifesting a victory with this. You're in it to win it. Your eyes on the prize. You know that what you need to heal. Or you're stepping into that. That's be what you need to heal and what you need to forgive is becoming super, super apparent. Like almost to the point where you can't deny it or escape it. Okay. So, but you are stepping into that power and that energy of, okay, no, I have everything I need to bring in this victory to manifest, to heal, to um, create a new experience or a new vision or a new uh, way of connecting right when it comes to the past that doesn't hold you back because it feels like this forgiving and learning like I said it was wedged deep into your solar plexus which is all about your will your self-confidence um your motivation to move right um you move from your core right so it's that sense of there was some stagnancy there where you weren't moving from your core you weren't trusting your gut you weren't 
um, being authentic in that way. And now you're realizing, okay, because there's some things that I got to forgive and learn. And you're realizing you do have the power, right? That it's not out of your hands. It is all in your hands to co-create that healing with spirit. That's beautiful. All right. We'll see overall for forgiving and learning. Thank you so much, spirit. Yep. We got the Knight of Cups. This is also feeling like building up the strength and the confidence to present yourself as available. The Knight of Cups is very available and open for love, available and open for affection, um, is willing to give, is ready to give, always ready to give, right? Maybe even a little too eager to give, okay? So this could also be a warning. Don't um, seek emotional fulfillment out of the lack of it right like out of dealing with heavy emotions as you're forgiving and learning don't fall into a knight of cups energy where you're just seeking and reaching and trying to feel that emotional connection to avoid doing this work or to try to like do you know what i'm saying like cope with whatever pain may come up with this forgiving and learning okay but ultimately what you are trying to manifest is this openness this openness to love, this openness to receive and to give love as well, okay? Very beautiful, very beautiful energy. Let's check in the honeymoon. Thank you so much, Spirit. What do they need to know about honeymoon? What does Aries Taurus need to know about honeymoon? Ooh, four of wands right off the bat. Love it. This is the home vibration card this is talks about marriage union um business partnerships okay this is also can be looked at as 11 11 um if you are on the twin flame journey or identify with the twin flame journey or a deep soulmate spiritual soulmate connection um this is that red and that blue right that balance that yin and yang um, this is also about a perfect match, a perfect foundation. This is also the energy of completion, okay? So feeling complete in a home vibration, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. It definitely has a very strong spiritual tone to it. So this could be just feeling spiritually connected to everything and not attached, right? Because it feels like this forgiving and learning also has to deal with attachments. Um, as you can see, like they're connected this person's kind of like clinging onto this person and this person's kind of like looking off like oi but then the angels are coming like hey let's forgive let's you know be open they're sorry accept their apologies you see what i'm saying so it's that um that that energy of something coming to an end something completing something finishing right we got this page of cups as well sincere emotion for me as a reader, the Page of Cups is also learning. Um, it's also about newness, learning emotions, understanding emotions, um, giving emotions as well, right? So this is what could be, okay, perfect. Whatever is going on with this forgiving and learning, which I feel is very deeply rooted in your solar plexus, okay? Whatever it is, like I said, it's blocking you from being open to love, from being open to giving love, from being open to receiving love. And it feels as though, Eritors, you're in some sort of union, some sort of home vibration, some sort of marriage, some sort of connection, okay? Where you haven't, this feels like, because there's this page of sword or page of swords, could be watching, they could be watching, you could be watching, okay? Take it as it resonates. But this person here, in this page of cups, it's, it's this sense of, it can also be looked as like an apology, right? So maybe whatever was blocking you, whatever you weren't forgiving and learning, whatever that was, was stopping you from being sincere in this connection, okay? Either giving sincere attention to it, giving sincere emotion to it. Look, we got the lovers at the bottom of the deck there. Giving um, at a sincere chance even, right? Because this could be, this could have been a connection where due to the forgiving and learning that you had to do, you might have brushed off, right? Um, yeah, definitely with let go of control issues. You might have tried to control the feelings that you felt. Because I sense, like I said, you were sensing that honeymoon. You were sensing it, but you couldn't put your fingers on it. And I think it's because you couldn't put your fingers on it that you decided to control the situation. Um, 
out of fear, out of not forgiving and learning from the past, right? Out of this sense of, like, it almost, like, felt familiar. So you were like, okay, no, I'm going to control it because I, because you, you hadn't done the work to let this go or to heal this yet. But once you do that work, it's like you're going to start actually sincerely feeling and giving to this connection here, giving to this um, union, giving to this foundation, giving to this home. And it's going to give you a lot of happiness, right? It's going to feel good. Like I said, this honeymoon energy felt very light. It's like once you get through this forgiving and learning, which you will, because you have Six of Wands, Victory, the Magician, and the Knight of Cups. So you're definitely going to get there. Once you get there, you're going to want to offer something real, something sincere to this connection. Whether that is your, you know, sincere and undivided attention to a work project, right? Or a business partnership or... Again, like I said, you can apply this to career, family, friends, not just romantic love. If it is romantic love, it would be that situation. Okay, you know yourself. But there's some sincere emotions coming in. There's going to be some real effort um, and genuine effort and emotions put in. Now, again, Aries, Tor Aries Taurus, Aries Taurus, this could be all for your cross watcher as well. Okay, so keep that in mind. You know whichever side you want to be on. Okay, yeah. Clarifying that is the ace of swords absolute and complete clarity and truth this is also a single vibration okay so this feels like i said for those who are or who identify with the twin flame journey or a deep soulmate connection journey okay um or a divine counterpart i i prefer divine counterpart okay um a divine counterpart journey this is your counterpart coming into the awareness once they learn and forgive whatever this energy is coming into the awareness that they are in this divine connection right so this could have been some sort of denial again the control issues pushing it away oh you know maybe even being triggered right but not properly coping with that trigger once all of that is sorted they're gonna gain clarity they're gonna gain truth they're gonna see this sword right the divine's gonna bring this clarity in and they're going to start offering sincere emotions. They're going to start offering um, genuine feelings, okay? Um, and in, for this to be under enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, this almost feels like a reunion of sorts. So, like, again, for those in those spiritual connections, this feels like a connection that's maybe been in separation due to the need for some forgiving and learning, which could have been on both of your ends, okay? Um, but once either you or them get through this process and have this victory, they're going to start feeling or you're going to start feeling that freedom to connect and to, to give. The freedom to give energetically and spiritually to this union, to this connection, this four of wands, okay? Yeah. Very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. This could also spark like a new idea or a new thought about maybe how to bring in this honeymoon energy again this feels like very separate like you're not tangibly with this person this also feels like i don't even think this might even be someone that you've had like an actual relationship with okay that's only going to be for a few of you not all of you for some of you this is someone that you haven't really had a relationship with but it's like it's because of this forgiving and learning that that has blocked that, okay? For some of you, this is somebody that you do know that you've been in physical contact with, but you're just separate from at this time, okay? Let's look into control issues. Wow, Aries, right off the bat. Hello, fool, first card of the deck. All right, starting that new beginning, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally, okay? So, Whatever this lesson in forgiving and learning was had to happen. So again, whether this is if you're on that divine counterpart journey, this was something that put you guys in separation because both of you or one of you needed to forgive and learn from something. So now that that's been made aware, I think both parties are aware of that, whether it's one person or the other. It's like the work to do to manifest this victory, to become the open and free knight of cups, right? Once that work is done, this honeymoon energy is there, vibration, it's that letting go of control issues, okay? You get that new beginning. Yeah, 
allowing it to unfold naturally. So allow this learning and forgiving process to unfold. Now, like I said, feel it to heal it, right? It could take a couple of days. It could take a couple of weeks, a couple of months, a, a year, a couple of years. All right. But just be patient with yourself because this is ultimately where you're headed. This complete new beginning, right? With this sort of truth headed straight for a spiritual connection, a spiritual union, something of a home vibration, right? Something that's going to be a match. This is like a perfect match card for me as a reader, okay? And something that's also going to teach you, because Pages is all about learning, so it's going to teach you about emotions. It's going to teach you um, what real, genuine care and love feels like. Wow. Okay, and that's going to put you in a very nice honeymoon state, okay? Because with this full energy, yeah, this is going to be you. <laughs> Right after that honeymoon, this is going to be you walking on sunshine. I'm not going to sing the song. I was very tempted to, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> All right. Anything else Aries Taurus needs to know about letting go of control issues for Taurus season? Thank you so much, Spirit. What else for Aries Taurus? Letting go of control issues. What wanted to flip over? Yeah. Four of swords. That's beautiful. Healing peace prayer meditation um consulting your angels consulting your guides checking in with your higher self you're going to be having this new beginning this full energy it's going to be peaceful wow i love that allow it yeah air tours allow this to happen naturally whatever this situation it does feel a little karmic okay whatever this situation is with this forgiving and learning Allow it to happen naturally. Allow it to just unfold the way it was meant to, okay? Because ultimately, if you do, if you can let go of control issues, okay? Now, I know control, that's a trigger word for Aries energy and Taurian energy as well. But if you can, can, if you can release and relax the control or the feel and the need and the urge to control this, for it to go your way, how you want it, when you want it, the way, if you can just step back from that. You're going to have a new beginning that's going to start with peace. A peaceful new beginning. Not a new beginning shrouded in doubt, shrouded in fear, shrouded in struggle or challenge. A peaceful, I'm seeing free, open with this honeymoon. Yeah, it's going to be just, just, okay, let it happen naturally. Air tours, okay, let it happen naturally. What's the overall? Did something flip? Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Spirit. What's the overall? Oh, boy. Oh, okay, yeah. Ten of Wands, okay? Let go of control issues. This is what I'm saying. If you, this is you not allowing it to unfold naturally, okay? This is you trying to hold it all together, not wanting any of the wands to fall, trying to control. You see that? Control, 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 control. Okay, I'm going to hold all to these. When if you just let them all go... You'd be able to walk freer and clearer in a straighter path to that home, to that mountain. In the, you see that? See that castle up there? But it's like you trying to control is going to block you from seeing the new beginning. Okay? Do you see that? This is, this is, this full energy in this four of swords is what this castle on the hill is. All right? But you wanting to control, you wanting to hold on to all this spiritual energy, all this want, hold on to the karmic energy from the past is blocking you from this peaceful new beginning. Okay? So just keep that in mind. You got to just relax. Let mm. Okay? Come on, Air Tours. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I know it's rough. I know it's hard. It is not easy. I know. But you can do this. You can do this. Okay? So just let go of the control. Allow it to happen naturally. You will have victory in healing the past. I'm going to say that again. You will have victory in healing the past. I'm seeing that very clearly. And you will enjoy that honeymoon vibration, that sensual, ooey, gooey, middle of the cookie feeling that's in your vortex. It's coming for you. But if you do not release control issues, you're not going to see, you're not going to get to that new beginning, okay? If you don't release control. Release the need to know. Release the need to... Have it happen a certain way in a certain time with a certain person. Like, release all of that. The who, what, when, where, and why has to be released, okay? You just kind of have to be open to what the universe has for you and trust 
and believe that what the universe wants to bring to you is going to be healing for you. It's going to be whole and healthy for you. They aren't going to bring you something that's going to be toxic, okay? Now, make sure you're also maintaining your own vibration to not attract any toxicity, okay? Now, well, that's not even true because sometimes even when you're in, not even sometimes, even when you are high vibe and you aren't putting toxicity out there, it can still come to you. But just when you're open to the good, right, not trying to control, you're trusting the universe, they're going to bring you everything you wanted and more. The moment you start doubting the universe, this is doubting the universe. The moment you start doubting, that's when things start getting cloudy and it's going to pull you away and you're going to have to kind of come back to manifest your way out of this, okay? Are out of that energy. Thank you so much. We're going to check in with the goddess uh, oracle. All right. It just felt right. Right. Taurian energy. Um, Empress energy. Goddess energy. We're going to get into this. Okay. Thank you so much, goddesses. Who's here for Aries Taurus? Thank you. Damara, guiding children. You are good at helping counseling and healing children. Use your skills to help children now, okay? So this definitely feels like healing that inner child wound, okay? Um, this could be a part of that forgiving and learning, forgiving yourself, forgiving the past versions of yourself. That's also a major key, okay? Any other goddesses here for Aries Taurus? Fire Earth Energy for Taurus season. Any other goddesses here for Aries Taurus for Taurus season for this spread? Ooh, Mawu, Mother Earth. You are called upon to help with environmentalism, okay? So what I'm getting with that, for those that are in that divine counterpart situation, this is the lot. Um, this is a major focus for many, many, many um, divine counterparts, twin flames, right? Mother Earth, raising the vibration of Earth, healing the Earth in some way, shape, or fashion. You're going to be getting into that, okay? So um, the it's it's almost kind of like once you forgive and you learn, you heal that inner child. You're going to start tapping into this energy, tapping into the. Um, Earth's energy, the energy grid, all of that. And you're going to start seeing and feeling that sense, that call, that bliss of being connected to Earth, right? And having that job and that clarity of, all right, let's get to work. Let's heal. Let's, let's you know, do what we got to do. So you're going to feel blissful in that way of connecting with Mother Earth and nature. It's going to be lovely. All right. And what's anyone else? Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say Siege, Sieg, quiet time, okay? Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Absolutely. Quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. That's the Four of Swords essence right there. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So in those moments, Eratores, where you're feeling that need to control, you're feeling that need to be impulsive, find a quiet space, take a little time, retreat, rest, meditate, Think about it, wait on it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying don't go for it because that would be crazy to tell anyone with Aries in their chart to not go for something. <laughs> but essentially make sure that you're meditating and you're getting aligned before you make a move, okay? That you're you're making these moves from a peaceful place, okay? Alrighty, Era Taurus, that is your beautiful birthday reading. This was so much fun. Thank you so much for connecting with me and allowing me to connect with you. I hope you found this reading helpful, insightful, um, and giving you some form of guidance on your journey. Uh, let me know what resonates with you or if the reading just resonated at all in the comment section below. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, go ahead check that information okay it's in the description box again thank you so much for all of the love the support i truly truly appreciate it and i hope you feel that love back from me through these videos okay i will see you in your next season yeah enjoy it okay i hope again you all had a wonderful birthday namaste